On this day 66 years ago, the age of commercial jet travel began when the world's first jet-propelled airliner made its first flight. Built in Britain, it was called the de Havilland Comet, and it first carried passengers three years later in 1952 on a flight from London to Johannesburg. The Comet ushered in a new era in aviation, but its name was soon damaged by a string of fatal accidents. By the time newer, safer models came along, the jetliner market was in the grasp of American manufacturer Boeing. In 1958, Boeing released the 707, a jetliner that could carry around twice the number of passengers as the Comet. Boeing continued to dominate throughout the 60s and 70s with the 727, its short-haul workhorse, the 737, and to the world's first wide-body jetliner or jumbo jet, the Boeing 747. But in the early 1970s, a new competitor arrived on the scene in the form of European manufacturer Airbus. Its A300 series was the world's first twin-engine wide-body jet, and later the success of the A320 made it a serious rival to Boeing. In the late 1970s, supersonic air travel became a commercial reality for the first time. Concorde halved the time it took to cross the Atlantic when it entered service in 1976. But a high-profile accident and the events of 9-11 ended commercial supersonic air travel in 2003. Two years later, in 2005, the world's biggest passenger airliner, the Airbus A380, made its first flight. It entered service two years later, and today is at the pinnacle of what's possible in commercial air travel. The jetliner has certainly come a long way since that first test flight in 1949.